you probably recognize this landfall if you've seen one of my previous videos. We had a look here when it was pretty dark. I've come back today to have another look around, see if there's anything else that's uncovered after the seas managed to wash over it quite a few more times. I'm just going to start by having a slow walk up and down looking along the fall, see if there's any obvious fossils showing. Then we'll have a little deeper look around some of the pebbles and things and see if there's anything there as well. The fall was much further out before, so it's been washed back certainly quite a bit. Straight off I can see a couple of ammonite imprints. And a couple more further over. This ammonite is pretty complete, although squashed. Oh, there we go, a little bit more shale just popped up. We have revealed some more of it. There's also a belemnite fossil up here as well, or at least part of one. None of these are fossils that we'll be taking home today. Just behind this slab, there's another slab with a really unusual nodule inside it. This nodule is absolutely massive. It's another little belemnite fossil there. This nodule is huge. Gosh. It's got a nice big crack down it as well. I wonder what's inside, if anything. If Shay was here with me, we'd probably open this one up. However, to do it and film it on my own is near impossible. So perhaps when I come back with Shay another time, we can open this one up. I've also got quite a few fossils in the actual bedrock itself. Some nice bits of fossil shells. That one's quite worn though. Some fossil wood. Hopefully we can find a nice ammonite or two. of parts of some fossilized trees here it's quite hard to tell just from this angle there's a huge lump of fossilized tree right there and also here we've got another compressed bit of fossilized tree some sort of tree trunk probably it's absolutely huge usually it's a lot more thin than that There's the other piece of fossil tree. You can see the birds have been coming to visit it as well. Can you spot the fossil I've just bumped into here? Not entirely sure if it's going to be 3D or not, but let's hope. So that fossil is down there. see the outer edge and is it complete um well possibly it is quite thin but the rock over the top of it is very loose and will probably come off really easily in theory there we go so it's quite compressed in the center however it's technically it's a complete little ammonite. 
This is one I'm going to leave for someone else to see if they come along before the tide comes and sweeps it away. Hopefully someone else can enjoy seeing that. Just having a look around, see if I can see any other nice fossils just at the edge of the fall. There's been a fossil inside that nodule. So could there be one inside this? Certainly possible. I'll open that up with my hammer and we'll see if there's anything inside that one. Oh, I've just spotted another potential couple of fossils. Again, that one is just full of fractures. That's going to open so easy. Oh, it's already split there, look. Um, I think that one's empty. Oh, no, no. Whoa, look at that. Oh, there's a perfect ammonite inside that. Oh, my gosh. I really, I really wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's brilliant. all crumbled away and just left the ammonite there look absolutely perfect <laughs> wow wonder if any more can come off just by touching it oh my gosh <laughs> the whole thing is split as well i've never opened an ammonite like this before oh gosh it's a it's really badly preserved well, no matter what I would have done, that would have been the case if I'd opened it with a hammer and chisel or the finer tools at home. Just a very, very fractured specimen. It's opened up some of the chambers though. You can see the calcite inside. I can't believe that. <laughs> There's another nodule just in shot here. I'll give you a few moments to see if you can spot it. So there we go down here so it's the same species as the ammonite we've just found this one as well full of fractures but a little bit more sturdy than the previous specimen we'll get these nodules opened up if they don't open well I'll make sure to include one that does open well and we'll have a look at the little fossil we've got at the end of the video. There's a nice little partial ammonite specimen in this shot. Can you see where it is? Might be quite difficult to spot. It's quite a small one. Although you certainly can see it from this angle. This fossil is right down there. Got a couple of potential nodules to open up, so I think we should open those now and hope there's something nice inside. Right, let's try and open this nodule. Quite a big one. Let's break the edge off, see if anything's inside. If it will come off, okay. A little bit's been revealed. Well, a little bit more of the rock has come off. We've not seen any fossils yet. Looks like it's going to be totally empty. So nothing inside this nodule. Let's have a look at this one. Right. It's not gone all, it's not split all the way around, but it's at least revealed part of it. So it's revealed half of the ammonite. The other half is also pretty loose, should come off.
There we go. Complete ammonite revealed. A little bit mucky. I'll give it a wash off. Looking pretty good. Really nice. I think that's all the fossil hunting I'm going to be doing today around this fall. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. That's awesome.